been charging all morning and it started to rain so I found this little spot close to a school that at least has this little awning in there so hopefully I can fly in there and avoid a little bit of the rain at least a quick pack and check out this new fly woo hex Ooh, really cool guys hex oh this is gonna be for the thumbnail Oh, pretty cool. All right, let's check this thing out, man. Oh, please don't get me wet. Okay, well, that didn't work very well. It flew for like two seconds. All right, let's try this again. There we go. <laughs> you see that freaking death row, dude? What the fuck is up with that? What's up with that? Ah, uh, let's go grab it. Jeez. Let's take a look. Um, maybe one of the props flew off. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Freaking arm broke. I didn't even crash into anything. It just, it just broke. I did nothing. The pavement was his enemy. You can see, like, I took out a motor here. Maybe this motor wire was was loose, and that's what caused the crash. I mean, that was not a very high crash. And, uh, I mean, that's probably it for this thing. I only had a couple other flights on it. Man, I hope my DVR was recording. This is not strong at all. I can't believe that. I mean, I'm glad I was at least recording my camera. Well, that's pretty weak sauce, guys. I'm gonna have to buy a new frame in order to finish the review. Or should I just publish the review like this? I mean, good lord. This thing did one little death roll and broke an arm with the slightest of hits. Uh, that's pretty disappointing. This will not be able to fly anymore. I was not high, guys. As you can see in the DVR, I was maybe like three feet off the ground and that broke this whole arm. So this is not durable at all. I don't think of uh, very many quads that would have broke like this. I'll show you some close-ups of how this thing broke. I didn't even get close-up shots of this thing yet, I don't think. Um, to even have for the video. So I guess all of the close-up shots are gonna have to be with a broken arm. That's really disappointing. What a sham, what a sham. Come on, Flywoo, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What a waste of time. Okay, so here is this Flywoo Explorer Hex, and you can see right there that the arm broke. Ah, uh, what? What? And I looked over the quad, and here is the culprit. You can see right there, there was a motor wire that just got loose. There's... It just kind of came loose at the solder joint, uh, which is unfortunate. This could happen to anybody, and this is like a two second fix. I mean, just hit the soldering iron right here on that wire and boom, you're back in business. But this frame crumbled extremely easily. That is problematic. Uh, it's interesting that they only used two screws per motor, that's uh, kind of an interesting note. So I was on it, using on it uh, this 3S450 milliamp tattoo battery right there. You can use a 4S, but I wanted to take it with something a little less powerful, a little bit lighter uh, to hopefully avoid something like this. And it broke anyway. That's how easily this thing broke. That's just kind of a bummer. Okay, so I got the new frame kit in from Flywoo. I had to buy this. I contacted their customer support, let them know what happened. They said they were gonna send me a new one and they never did. So I wanted to finish this review, so I just bought my own. It was 16 bucks, came with 
all the extra little hardware and some straps and some extra standoffs, basically the entire frame, but I just really needed this bottom plate out. So I swapped it out and got a few flights on it. Let's go over the entire build very quickly. It has Flywoo's uh, six in one ESC. This is one that they originally made for the um, Hex Flywoo Explorer, and they've been making a variety of Hex copters. This is the smallest. It's a 16 by 16, so it's very small, and it fits just perfectly with their 16 by 16 flight controller that they have in there. And then they have their tiny little VTX, which also fits on the same mount. It has a circular polarized antenna up here, and uh, I went ahead and put Express LRS in there. You can see the receiver at the very top. It's the one with this little T antenna. Works just fine. It uses your standard Whoop props and it comes with only six. So I don't think you actually have any spares in there. Um, these are pretty delicate props and there's no ducts. Um, normally with a Whoop like this, you have ducts on there. These props are gonna be breaking a lot. So you're gonna wanna be buying a lot of props. There's six of them. I don't know if there's a point for this. I mean, if you wanted to really carry the smallest action camera ever, a naked something or an Insta 360 Go, but like this is not super powerful. If you're gonna carry it, you're gonna have to put 4S and it's gonna add even more weight, which makes this thing even more breakable. Remember this arm broke with a tiny hit from three feet with a 3S lightweight battery and no camera attached. So uh, there's also a DJI version, which is gonna add even more weight to this formula. So I really can't say that I recommend this. It's too big, heavy, and fast for indoors. I tried to whoop it. I could actually fly it indoors, but not very comfortably, and it was really moving at a pretty fast speed. Faster than you're gonna want to go inside. If you really put the camera angle flat, you could kind of float, but it doesn't have the same protection as a ducted Cinewhoop, so I'd probably use something like the C85 HD with the ducts. It's gonna be heavier, but it's easier to fly inside with that formula outside it does have a little more speed but again it's just not really the fun what do you in the comments guys everyone was going nuts for this thing at launch uh, but like i'm a little bit late to the party but i can give you a bit of a more honest review yes i did have the crash uh which impacted somewhat but i still don't think even regardless of that it's super amazing a standard uh toothpick four blade would be preferable to me thanks guys <music>